<laughs> We're here. All right, we also got these goodies. I got spicy stewed rice cake and vegetables, salmon bowl, this dessert sort of red bean sweet rice cake, um, this, this. Also got one of these, super excited. I heard it's terrible, so I really wanna try it. And my friend got an aloe drink. I'm literally so excited for this. <laughs> okay. If it's good, I'm gonna be sad that I didn't get one. You can have some. All right, I heard that it tastes like um, sour milk. <laughs> it's in a glass bottle. Let's go. It's good. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. It's okay, my drink's good too. Gonna have to go back for more of this sus drink. So originally this recipe was gonna make a gallon of kimchi. I think that is maybe a bit too much for me. Also, it could turn out terribly and then I'm stuck with a gallon of terrible kimchi. So I'm gonna cut it into thirds and make one third gallon of kimchi. Here is all of the ingredients. Ginger, red pepper flakes, fish sauce, a cabbage, red hot chili peppers, woohoo. Recipe called for shallots. I do not believe these are shallots. It's fine. Salted shrimp, a yellow onion, an apple, a carrot, garlic, and sea salt. Also water. Step one, preparing the cabbage. I'm not sure what to do about this part. The recipe did not specify. I'm just gonna throw this away and hope that it's not like an artichoke where the heart is the best part. Now that I have cleaned and drained my cabbage, I'm going to cut it into like one inch bits. Put them in a bowl and add about one teaspoon of salt per handful of cabbage. like this much of an apple. I feel like I should have used the tablespoon of sugar rather than the apple, but I'm already into it. So, fish sauce, I'm gonna add one tablespoon and one teaspoon. if you're supposed to refrigerate this after opening, but there is a warning on here. It says cancer and reproductive harm. Bruh. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refrigerate it. One tablespoon and one teaspoon of my little shrimpy babies. Mm. If you're a vegan or you don't wanna add the fish sauce and the shrimps, then don't add them, but they're supposed to um, add like an umami flavor. So I'm just gonna add them. Yeah. Three garlic cloves. One third of a medium yellow onion. I'm just gonna chop it up. I don't know 
why, but the ginger is making me cry more than the onion. Um, I'm gonna add like an inch of ginger root. So now I'm gonna blend it. Uh, the consistency that we're looking for is that of ketchup. I have a really good inclination that it's not gonna blend good, so then I'm gonna have to add a little bit of water. We'll see. So it blended pretty well, but I think it's burning my eyeballs. Oh. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water because I think it's too thick. It actually blended really good, but it's not so much like ketchup. I'm gonna add like a little sprig. Oh, that might have been too much. Perfect. I'm gonna put it into another cup just so that it's easier. Nice. Delicioso. One carrot sliced into matchsticks. Fun fact, I think these big carrots taste better than the baby ones because you can really taste the grime on them. They're just like earthier. One spicy chili pepper, thinly sliced. One third cup chopped shallots, or whatever these are. You know what, upon further investiga investigation, I think that these might actually be shallots, just with the bulbs already removed, so, score. Okay, it's a little over five hours later, so time to get the cabbage. The next step is to rinse our salty cabbage. There's like some water and stuff left over, I'm just gonna dump it. And our final step is to combine the things that we prepared earlier with our cabbage. It says to use gloves because your hands might get stained by the um, the chili powder and also might smell like garlic, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. I think some of these bigger pieces I am just gonna toss because I already have so much cabbage, they're just taking up space. They are tasty though. Next step, put the mixture in your jars. See, this is where being a pickle person really comes in handy because I got 
three pickle jars on hand at any given time. I will miss them, keeping me company in my little gaming corner, but it just means I'll have to get more pickles. Really get it in there. Final product, three jars. These smaller ones are 24 ounces and this larger one, 46. Next step is gonna be, I have to leave these in room temp or 75 degrees Fahrenheit for one to two days and burp when necessary. It's two days later. I just ate blueberries, so please excuse if my mouth is blue. I don't even know why I showed you my face. It was unnecessary. Anyway, two days later, here's ASMR, the kimchi. So I didn't have the lids on that tight. Oh shit, that one's bubbling. Oh my God. Okay, so it just stopped. Oh, frick. There was a bubble right there. Ooh. Damn. It smells pickled. <laughs> Second one. Okay, this one looks good. So it smells pickled. Nice. Which I'm pleased about. This one. Ooh. The big kimchi. Taste test. It tastes fine. I'm going to put these in the fridge and try them tomorrow, officially. And then I think the day after that, or later that day, I'll be able to assess if they were deadly because if I get some sort of illness, you know, or uh, if I pass away, then that'll be my, that'll be my sign that it didn't go correctly. We'll see. Bruh. All right, it's go time. <laughs> so here I have my homemade kimchi. Um, and my housemates kimchi from Trader Joe's just so that I can compare them. First, ooh, they're stinky. Nice. Smelling. They smell a little different. Let's see what is in this one. Okay, there's no ingredients list. Trader Joe's, what the heck? Might have been there before and the, my housemate just removed the thing. Anyway, let's go. Say a little prayer for me. Might be too late if you're watching this though. It's not bad. I'll probably eat that for lunch. Now, the other one. This one tastes like a little stronger, like maybe more fermented, more, I don't know if it's vinegar. I don't know what's in there. This one's a little stronger. Granted, this one has only fermented for two days and then I put it in the fridge. So it'll keep fermenting in the fridge. It'll just be like super slow. Okay, so. I'd say for the first attempt, I'd give this like a six out of 10. No fault on the recipe. The fault is upon me. I feel like some vinegar would be delicious or maybe just leave it out to ferment more. So I'm gonna have some of this for lunch. And then if 
I poop my pants, or if I die, I'll probably find out by tomorrow. So I'll document that if that happens. Okay, I'm still alive. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so I've eaten this much kimchi so far, almost half of the container. And uh, I haven't died, I haven't had any stomach issues. Yeah, it's been tasty. I must say, I think the top layer was not as good because it wasn't submerged in the liquid. This part that is fully submerged in the juices is significantly better. Pretty successful experience. Yay!